My check, my check, my check. Welcome to Quebec 9. My name is Ola Harry, and today our topic is centered around how to improve your trading skill. Yeah, guys, for joining me, thank you very much. You're welcome. So while we wait for more people to join to join us, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe so you can get more subscribers for the year. And also, when you like this content, it helps YouTube algorithm to share with more people. Okay. So, and don't forget that this segment is brought to you from Bybit is sponsoring this segment of our channel. This is Quebec 9, and we are always on our Telegram channel Monday to Saturday. Then we pick out two days out of those Saturdays of those um six days to come on youtube okay and sponsored by by beats okay and um <clears throat> having said that we also have three major classes at Quebec nine we will play the beginners class the advanced class which is the one we are currently in and we also operate master class so it depends on where you belong okay so if you belong if you are very new to crypto and uh, you want to start learning but, uh, to understand how the cryptocurrency works and how you can start trading then the beginners class is a place to be if you already understand trading but you want to improve you want to learn more you know you want to keep you want to be consistent then the advanced class is free the beginners class is not free okay and then if you want to build more strategy you want to ensure that you always keep yourself in profit regularly and your you increase your roi on monthly basis i can tell you the master class is a place to be okay yeah so if you can hear me please drop your high drop high drop high let me know that yes um my screen is visible and my voice is audible guys and uh, today is um a wonderful day for us to be here and uh, we have a very wonderful topic that i think that it will really 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 go a long way in um increasing your portfolio helping you to stay in profit regularly okay so i will open my board let's see how we can use that so our topic for today don't forget is still how to improve your trading scale yeah let's put it here Yeah, beautiful. That's the topic for today. And let's see what we have on this topic. You have some um, series of wonderful things that I think that I feel that um, we should really, really understand. Now, you see, improving your trading scale, uh, you can look at it from different angles. But I'm going to give you some um, lay down rules that will actually help you. Now, this other topic for today is for existing traders so if you are new to trading don't just make sure that uh, you enroll for the beginners class and that will really help you a lot so number one number one now there's what we call trading defense okay that's number one Let's write it down is it trading defense you can call it um protecting your capital okay you can call it protecting your capital which um i feel um is um, very important uh, when you are coming to the markets you want to ensure that you don't want to lose your money on the on the on the large scale you want to be on profit that's what's important but while you're trading if you're not careful by the time you experience any loss when you experience any loss you want to fight back and that is one of the biggest mistakes most traders always um, encounter don't fight back let every trade stay as individual trade no matter what happened don't try to um, force the system to give you profit 
because sometimes maybe your strategy is not even on point or maybe it's not even the right setup for that time so you have to be very careful um, doing that now having said that trading defense that a lot of things you have to uh, look at when it comes to trading defense then number two we have trading less Uh, yeah, 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 this number two. Now you see this number two. I recall I highly recommend this for advanced traders. Okay, those who have been trading um for a while, and um, they already they are they are on their way becoming a pro trader. Now because I always recommend um more trading experience for beginners. Okay, go on scalping, try it as much as you can, develop your own strategy, try as much as you can, develop your own skill, you know, keep doing it, keep doing it till you're able to put yourself in the light and understand what you're doing when it comes to trading. After that, you know, when you're scalping, you have the higher tendency to, to take a lot of trades, okay, but over time, you have to reduce the level at which you trade. Maybe in a day, you take about two, three signals or four signals in a day. Maybe over time, you want to reduce it. And the reason why you want to reduce this is because you want to be able to screen out trades that are not quality. You want to only take quality trades. Yes. You want to take quality trades. And even, you know, if you have a very good strategy, sometimes maybe three trades in a week is okay. Yes, three or four quality trades in a week is okay, right? So that's um, that's what gives birth to trading less. But as a beginner, I recommend you know make sure that uh, you're on your way to build a strategy. Don't just be trading, right? Okay, because if you focus on that, it helps you fast track. The numbers of years you're supposed, to, you're supposed to use to learn. You probably don't uh, don't need to stay longer or stay for a long time for you to understand trading, because when you're scalping, you will gather a lot of experiences. I can I can assure you about that. Okay, so that um, about this. So if you have any question, drop it on the comment section. I'll read it out. Number three, we have. Pay yourself. That's number three. Pay yourself. No matter how hard or how easy it is, okay, make sure that whenever you make profit, maybe either a week, um, within a week or within a month, make sure you pay yourself. It's very important. Because... If you don't pay yourself, if you just assume you out of you, you brought a thousand, one thousand dollars to the market and you're able to make two hundred dollars, that's twenty percent within a month. That is good success, right? Make sure that you set out an amount of money, okay, outside the trade. Yes, you can even take off the profit if you like, whichever way you want to go about it. So, always make sure that you pay yourself whenever you made profit. Now, some people will ask me that, okay, they brought ten thousand dollars to the to the market, and now they are minus six thousand, or they are minus eight thousand. You know, they are on the losing side. So when they made profit, their mindset is, oh, let me recover the amount I've lost. That used to be their mindset. So they will now be in the trade for a long time without, you know, any substantial uh, result or profit. They can't take out profit. They're just stuck. So don't get stuck. Even if you bring $10,000 to the market and um, you are down by $2,000, whenever you make profit, I can assure you, always take out your profit. 
okay take out your profit or take out part of your profit that will uh, you know that's that will really help your psychology to ensure that you are uh, you come back with with positive energy to trade and that is very very essential okay so that's the reason why you have to ensure that you take profit either you are in either you you the trading has eaten your your capital or not whenever you made profit now you know that yes you've made profit always take out your part of your profit okay yeah that's number four let's see number four trade clear strategy trade clear strategy clear is very important very very important you see as a trader you know what is good for you you understand that when you're trading you have different setups you have different setup different strategies um, you you're using to trade and i can assure you that when you're trading always make sure that when you're looking at a particular setup make sure that that setup is right for you to take for you to trade don't sometimes you're like okay let me just manage this so let me give it a, a a very clear example about this so that you guys will understand what i'm saying so let's go to trading view Okay, so we're in trading view. So let's click here. Yeah, so let's see. Let's look at this. Look at this. So, for example, we have. Okay, let me bring out my pencil. Let's close this. Into settings. Brush. Okay. So let's clear this off. Yeah. Now look at this. So we have uh, something like head and shoulder. Can you see it? But we have downtrend, pull back, downtrend, pull back. Now look at this. Looking at this alone, this is your entry here. Now let's now assume that. The market has gone down somewhere here when you find out like, oh let me enter maybe maybe it will still you know something like that already the setup says your entry is at your second pullback this is the first pullback the second pullback this is your entry this place is your entry this and this place okay that's your entry so if the uh, market has actually gone down then you need to just ignore this strategy you just have to you know just stay back just leave it ignore it and go and get another setup or you wait yes that's the best or you wait because if you don't do that it might probably affect your trade so let's make sure that since you did not meet up with this, with this strategy, which is, this, this is your entry, okay, you've not been doing follow-up, maybe later when you now saw the um, coin, it has already gone down. Just leave it. Just let go at that time. That's what we we're saying. When your setup is not clear or it has already played out, don't force it don't force it now look at this place there's something something happened here if your strategy is um pull back so look at uptrend sorry um okay uptrend pull back uptrend pull back can you see that if you if you didn't enter somewhere here okay 
then there will be problem. Yes, there will be problem. Because yesterday, I actually saw this setup. I saw this setup yesterday. But I was not sure. Sure, because already my own analysis was, oh, general market was going down. General market, general market was going down. That was my own um, thought. And in this case, you can see this is pure manipulation. I know some people will have made profit. That's good. But if you don't set take profit, to be precise, on this particular trade, I can assure you that by now you'll be on the negative. And that is not what you plan. Okay? So that's just um, for that. So always make sure that when you're trading, let the setup be clear. You can, you guys can observe that some that sometimes I will decide to ignore some um, some coins if the setup is not really it's not something I I really don't understand what's going on there. Okay, yeah. So I think um, that is very clear. So always trade clear strategy. If the strategy is very clear, that's when you should trade. I think I think that's better. So number five number five so before i go, let's uh, quickly take one or two um comments so my check i hope i'm audible if you can hear me please drop your high drop your high and um make sure we are in line now don't forget drop your location smash the like button smash the like button and also make sure you follow you subscribe to this channel Make sure you subscribe to this channel let's do that let's do that let's do that now okay so guys smash the like button smash the like button also drop your location yeah i can see elizabeth from on those states drop your location i can see Next from Lagos. Oluwamuiwa from Lagos. Yes. Keep dropping, keep dropping, keep dropping your location. Drop your location. Theophilus from Nigeria. Basi Kofi from PH. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, we have Biola Lawa from Abuja. How are you, Biola Lawa? We have James, James Moses from Wari. How are you guys? Hope you guys are doing cool. Drop your location, drop your location. Then I can see, um, I can see, I don't know, Yakin. Yakin from Lagos. Yakin from Lagos. Then who again? I can see um, Harry from Abia States. I can see um, Barnabas from Jos, JF Kennedy from UK. Thank you guys. Solomon from Masaba, Delta States. Basi from PH. Oh, yeah. Good to have you guys on board. Smooth Wind Sound from Lagos, Satellite Town. Thanks for joining us. Elizabeth Olawale from what is the minimum and maximum percentage of a pullback? Ah, it depends on the structure. You really can't point percentage for pullback. I can tell you that's where the problem always lies. But I'll show you. I'll show you an example. The market is very easy to predict when it has played out, but when it's still trying to firm, oh, that's the challenge. We have Okpayemi from Kaduna. We also have Samson Chinaza from Anambra. How are you guys? We have Prosper from Enugu. We have. Um, Buchi from Abuja. Buchi, how are you? We also have 
Eze Uchena from Lagos. Yeah, welcome. How are you doing? Yes, Akim, I guess I've mentioned you before from Lagos. Yeah, thank you guys for telling us your location. Really appreciate that engagement. Okay, so let's move to the next, which is the fifth one we're talking about. Our topic for today, don't forget, is how to improve your trading skill. How to improve your trading skill. And number one, we talk about trade defense. Trading defense, okay, how to protect your capital. Yes, these are things you have to put in your mind. Number two, we talked about trade less, okay, trade less. So I've, I've already distinguished between a beginner trader and an advanced trader all the way to master trader, okay? The idea is to trade less. If you trade less, you will always, it's, it's, there is higher guarantee that you will always trade quality signals. Then, number, number three, pay yourself, okay? No matter how small, always pay yourself. Or, trade clear strategies. Trade clear strategies. Yeah, that's also very important. Yeah, which more from Benin City? How are you? Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, so the fifth one will be backtesting. Backtesting. If today I show you a new strategy, always make sure you backtest it. You go on YouTube, you see different strategies that has been, you know, you learn different things all the time. Always make sure that you test those strategies. Guys, don't forget, smash the like button. Smash the like button. Okay? Always make sure you back test. Yeah, always make sure you test any strategy um, that you want to use to trade is very important okay don't just jump into it that so we also have olati from onicha how are you olati so number six number six we have go lights after losing a trade guys this is very very important okay go light after Losing a trade. This is very, very important. You see, most of the times, we have this um, revenge attitude. Okay, you're trading. Let's come here. You're trading. So you recorded loss of, let's say, your total, your total capital is... Um, total capital is, uh, let's say, $100. And you took a trade. And um, you are already, on, let's say, minus 5. That's in dollars. Okay, minus $5. Now, instantly, if you decide to close this trade, if you decide to close the trade, The next thing you want to do is to ensure that you want to make your money back. This is a very, very wrong impression. Don't try this, please. Okay? Don't try to revent your trade. Is This is very, very important. There's no point reventing your trade when, um, in short, most of the times, when you do this, you lose more. Go and check. So what you need to do is, if your margin was, let's say, $10, okay? If your margin was $10, what you need to do is... Your next trade, because you need to gain confidence. You need your confidence back. The next thing that is right for you to do is 
to trade with some something like let's say two dollars or three dollars. This was the initial um what was it called? This was this is your initial the pre sorry the previous margin. Some people because they lost five dollars they want to quickly increase their margin to make their money back they will increase this to 20 and they, they will continue to lose you know they now they will not be under pressure serious pressure for them to make money and at the end of the day because of the kind of pressure you are putting yourself into you'll be blindfolded with different trades you can't even you can't even figure it out you are not unable to figure it out. Okay? You start to assume, oh, it's going down, oh, it's coming up, oh, you know? All sort of things begin to happen. So what, what you need to do is to what? Go light, just pull back. Don't rush. No, 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 don't do that. Don't rush into that trade anymore. Don't rush into that trade. Just take your time. Okay? Take your time. Settle down, settle yourself, don't be under any, under any form of pressure, reduce your entry, okay, or your margin, reduce your margin, reduce your margin drastically after, um, you, after you've, you believe you've lost, let's say, 5% of your capital or 10% of your capital, okay, don't go, go in light, try to balance the psychology before you start to, you know, go in radical okay that's very very important that's very very important okay so that's that's all about go light after losing a trade yeah so because you need your confidence you need your confidence your confidence is very very vital okay so we have we have more people joining us confidence Emmanuel from UK, how are you? Thanks for coming around. We also have Benedict from Port Harcourt. We have Hamet Jani from Abuja. Thanks for joining us, guys. Really appreciate you. So that's for number six or seven. Learn more. learn more you guys know that we cannot overemphasize this and that's why you're here so i i i i, I comprehend you guys that yes you want to continue to learn because market will always present different things to us at every point in time so you want to understand what is going on at every time so continue to learn don't stop learning because it's uh, it's part of the deal okay it's part of the deal just like you're working and you stop taking trainings you know you wouldn't like when the the knowledge start to depreciate so what you need to do is to what continue to learn learn more okay yeah number eight number eight don't trade certain days okay don't trade certain days yeah that's on days you probably don't need to trade like if you're in a bad mood okay someone got got you hungry okay that day just you know it depends on you but i think there are some days that you know you just have to you're very busy okay when you have a busy day you can decide to stay out of trade okay because it's always very good to monitor your trades when you have bad days, someone got you hungry or, you know, something happened, maybe like negative news. So because of your mood, your um, the, the state of your mind at that time, okay, you can stay out of trade. Okay? Yeah, that's very important. And um, maybe you want to trade six days in a week. You understand? It, it all depends. Maybe you want to take one day off. Maybe you don't want to trade on Mondays, you don't want to trade on 
Sundays, you don't want to trade on Saturdays. It depends on your schedule. That is all. Dip. That's all, um, dip. Uh, that's um, about what you decide for yourself. Okay. So guys, don't forget smash the like button. Smash the like button. Okay. Thank you very much for that. So number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Use risk management strategy. So you see. When you have a strategy, always make sure that um, you, anytime you are entering a trade, always make sure that the strategy you're using has like a default, by default, risk management. Okay? Let me give you an example. So this is use... Okay, so let's go here. And this is it. So let's see. Now looking at this trade. Now we have downtrend, pullback, downtrend, pullback. Okay, and this is your entry, right? Now look at this. So if I bring my position to, which is shorts. So I'm I'm already here. Let's make the profit. Okay. I'm hoping to go all the way down. Okay. This is profit region. Okay, and this is loss region that's from here okay that's a loss region right now this already tells me that whenever i see the candle playing around here i will have to close my trade don't 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 say something like oh let me wait let's see if it's going to be Something like that, you're not practicing good risk management. Okay? So, this is what I do personally. So, I'll put another line here. Okay? Then, uh, we're going to have this. Yep. So, for me to close this trade, if I'm already in this trade, I will ensure that this is what I'm going to do. Whenever a candle closes above this line, then I'm done with this trade. Okay? Whenever a candle closes on the 1H, 4H time frame. Risk management strategy that I use. So you can also develop yours the way you want. Mine is that I don't set stop loss. Because I know a lot of people, they will enter a trade, they don't even have any risk plan. If anything happens within that trade, they will begin to pray. They will begin to hope. You understand? And that is not, uh, you know, a very smart way to, to go. So here, already you have to just take this loss if it has... Up, if it's that close above this line, that is, is that tells you that this particular strategy I already have my risk management in place is very very important. Whenever you are trading a strategy, always understand that okay, this structure. If there is any form of pullback, I will no longer be interested. Yes, just like at this trade now, you can see that. The market is struggling to to catch up with an uptrend. Okay. Now, you want to take a short position on this trade. Immediately, because already, 
there is a pullback. Now look at this. Now this particular trade. Now let me just a very typical example. Now look at this. There's a downtrend from here. Downtrend pullback. Downtrend pullback. Right? There is already a pullback. So now you have your entry somewhere here. Right? Then market came down. Boom. Then you're not having another pullback again. Then at that level, I think I need to close that trade. Okay? As far as I'm concerned. I, it, doesn't, it doesn't even need to hit my stop loss. I will just close the trade. I will just close it. That's the end. Okay? Because the pullback has already happened. So I'm not I'm I'm not expecting another pullback. So if another pullback happen, then I have to what? Go off the trade. Either go with small loss, small, small profit, or small loss, whichever way, whichever one that happen. So you can actually view it in different in different ways. I, I hope you understand what I'm saying. So when you set something like this and you have entry, you it doesn't have to enter your stop loss. It doesn't have to at all that strategy you are trading already has its own default risk management you have to understand risk management for this strategy because every setup have their own risk management they are different it doesn't have to it doesn't have to enter or come around your stop loss before you know that yes you've lost the trade sometimes you're in profit and you can trade is going to be in uh, you're going to lose the trade because you've seen the way the trade is struggling. Even if it later comes your way, is that is not the plan. So you have to always ensure that, okay, you don't understand the setup very well. And this is the plan you are putting in place for this setup to happen. Okay, if it doesn't happen, don't trade by luck. Okay, this is not, this is not we're not here to gamble. Okay, so that's it. So number, yeah, number 10. Hmm, I, 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 I love this number 10 so much. Number 10. I hope we are together. If you can hear me, please drop your high. Drop high. Drop high for me. You can hear me. Drop high for me. If you understand what I'm explaining, also drop high. If you understand and you're, you're enjoying what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm telling you, drop high for me. Okay. So number 10. Now, this is um, by choice. You don't have to do this. Okay. It depends on you. You're the one that will determine what you want. But I recommend you have what we call set, set daily losing limits. Yeah, I can assure you this, this will help you a lot. I can tell you. It can be daily. It could be weekly, it could be monthly. Okay? It could be monthly. So it depends. This will really, really help you a lot in terms of... Um, okay, let me give you an example so you understand what I'm saying. So let's say you have an account of $5. And you say... This month of March, this month of March, the maximum you can afford to lose on this trade is $50. Yes, this month of March, that is the maximum. Okay? So, as you're taking your trades, definitely $50 is a lot. And what you need to do, you have to ensure that um, your stop loss is very small. Okay? And your take profit is very, very what? Big. Okay? So that's something that, so that before you get to this $50, it's going to take you, you know, um, a lot of trades. Yes, it's going to take a lot of trades for you to get to this $50 because of your capital. Okay? because of your capital that's the reason so guys 
let's quickly understand that that's it that's it for how to improve your trading skill i hope you guys have learned something from this i hope you've learned something let me quickly recap for those who are just joining us number one number one trading defense okay trading defense be very careful don't trade don't uh, try to revenge your trades number two trade less number two trade less number two trade less number three pay yourself so all my explanation after we are done you can replay you can replay um this particular um video okay you can replay it so that's all what i explain you will get everything pay yourself that's number three number four trade clear strategy okay if your strategy is not clear please please we're begging leave it alone and go and go for another coin or you wait till you can see that yeah this is very very clear number five back testing number five back to whenever you get a new strategy you always always ensure that you what you back test go light after losing a trade if you've lost a trade don't go hard okay don't go radical go conservative don't revenge your trades these are the things we are telling you don't do trade revenge because you lost ten dollars with only dollar margin now because because of that you want to go in with 200 dollars so you can quickly recover your money don't have that mindset see this thing might even work for you at the time but the day is going to cut up with you you probably even lose your entire account yes and i'm so glad that these days i hardly hear oh i got liquidated this and that in short i'm so so happy about that very few people will tell me they go in short for the, the month of march and um, february and january i didn't really hear most of our members said they got liquidated because i've sent a lot of signals regarding liquidation a lot of signals a lot of explanations on how to avoid liquidation okay so congrats to you guys number seven learn more keep learning is very important when it comes to trading mm -hmm. number number eight don't trade some certain days okay when you have bad days in your bad mood okay or something you, you got a bad news something like that you can avoid trading number nine use risk management they are also very very essential then number 10 set daily losing limits okay it can be daily it can be weekly or monthly it all depends on your trading capital or your your own personal plan that's how it goes so guys that's what i have for you guys today and then um, after that let's quickly check what's going on in the market okay that will be btc let's check what's going on so this is btc let's go here let me use this let me use this chart okay so let's check on the higher time frame i am ready now look at this can you see my trend my trend is ready to top with btc and i can i am very sure of this if we break out of this which is which will be um i can see breaking out okay we are getting we are getting closer okay you can see that trend line look at my trend line can you see it can you see my trend line okay so i think we might probably break out from this trend line and when we break out from this trend line man guys we are going all as for me i don't know about you i'm going in hard as in i'm going in radical okay yes by the time we break out so we might probably have something like breakout okay so let's see the poss possibility of that let's see i think there's a support we have to consider the support around that area the support around the area should be um maybe twenty three thousand. yeah twenty three thousand here okay what's going on let me capture it the ex exact thing okay yeah that's twenty three thousand. 
Now look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. So then we have this is it 23250. Okay. Yeah. Though there, there will be manipulation, but I think, um, okay. yeah, that's 23 to 50. 50. So, well, I'm expecting BTC to close. So, this is what I'm expecting. Let me show you the graph down, pull back, down. Can you see that? So there will be a bounce around 23,000. Yes, there will be a bounce around that area. So that's also a very good time to, to go, to go, um, this is a very good entry. That's 23,250. So that's why, that's why it's yellow. Okay, to go short. But you need to confirm the trend first. Don't jump into any trend. It won't make any sense losing your money just like that. Okay? No matter what, confirm. But I can assure you that if this, um, if we are able to break this trend line, okay, if we're able to break this trend line, then we are going all the way down, right? Okay, so that's already a signal for you guys. But currently, as we speak, you know, this is on the four hour. So let's check the 15 minutes time frame. Let's see what's going on there. So here you can see we have something like um, in short, on the on the 15 minutes time frame, we still have a lot of decision to make. So already we have downtrend, pull back, downtrend, pull back. Okay, so let's look at this. Let me let me use this. Now you can. I see that. So this worldly, where we are currently, is already giving something something like double bottom. Okay, double one two. Okay, so until it breaks out of this. Okay, so, so what I'm saying in essence is this, uh, this, okay, this is, um, have to be a downtrend here. Yeah, it has to break this um, line. We have to break this uh, 23,344. Okay, we have to break it to the downside. So after breaking it to the downside, you can wait for pullback. Okay, you can wait for pullback. But I, I um, it looks like this might not happen because we already have a double bottom. Yes, we already have something like double bottom. So let me see if that will look like. Let's see. Oh no, it's not coming out. Yeah. So on the short term, okay, on the short term, um, I'm expecting an uptrend. In the short term, so here, or maybe we should just wait for breakouts. We should just wait for breakouts. Let's wait for breakouts. Let's wait for this to break out. Okay. Let's wait for breakouts. Because already, since I'm seeing double um, bottom, I'm expecting rejection around here. Okay, I'm expecting this to reject. So after the rejection, then it gives us that assurance that yes, we have this, we, we, then we have this. Okay? So let's wait for this candle to close. But it's closing very strong, as you can see. It's closing very, very strong. 
Okay, it's closing very strong. It's closing very strong. But we still need to continue to wait, you understand? We still need to continue to wait so that we can get the outcome. That's just one thing about trading. You have to ensure that um, you're very patient. Don't be, in a, don't be in a hurry. Don't jump into the trade. We're still waiting. So while we're waiting, let's check other coins. So on the four hours time frame, B BTC is giving us a, uh, we're waiting for BTC to break out from that trend line. After breakout and then retest, I think uh, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time to place our trade. And that will probably take time. I would have loved that at this time, we can actually place a trade and make some cool cash. But, you know, it's about the waiting game. You just have to wait. That here over the night you can see can you see that so when you that was that's stg so you can come to four hours time frame so let's see what i did can you see here so i have this very strong uptrend though i so i missed all this beautiful um setup i missed all these things okay double top downtrend pull back downtrend pull back downtrend pullback then downtrend breaking out of this trend line okay after the part of that trend line then you can see so that, that is this on my four hours time frame this is exactly the same thing i'm proposing for btc and i come to my 15 minutes time frame so after the breakout i jump it that was around um can you see that midnight that's 1 a.m yep so after that instantly i jump into around that this was my entry here that was my entry then i was able to enjoy all this downtrend so so that's it so lo looking forward you can see you can see what i'm so what i'm seeing here see what is happening here so i was able to determine my take profits based on this can you see it based on here and here I was able to determine my take profit. Okay, so as it, as as we speak, uh, you already see something like a double um, bottom. Okay, like there will be a recovery here. That's what I can see. So let's remove this. You can see something like this. Okay, double bottom. Right. So, except it breaks out retests then down all the way that's the that's the only condition okay that i will use if i even if i will have to if i will have to okay so we still have more so guys let us drop our uh let's drop our coin drop your coin drop your coin yeah okay someone is asking a question says please i was banned from the comment section on telegram i don't know why. and maybe you've done you've um, disobeyed the community guidelines that's why yeah they have to ban you maybe you've done something you're not supposed to. maybe you drop a link or something i saw somebody dropping drop a link this um this morning i have to delete it my i just deleted it though i didn't ban the person i don't know if you're the one i didn't ban the person okay so please always obey the community guidelines it's very important when you're in a community if everybody's dropping links everybody's just you know doing um the way they, the way it's not um not obeying the rules you know nobody will it's nobody will stay here you understand everybody will go so i deleted those links someone were dropping links you know they were advertising on our platform it's not right okay if you want to um gather people if you are prof if you are trading and you are profitable it's very easy to get people to you very easy because you're profitable simple you don't need to or something if you're really profitable post your testimonies online people will follow you okay so i don't think um that should be something that should be a problem okay that shouldn't be a problem okay yeah, can you see that so we are still waiting 
can you see it's rejecting yeah can you see that's that's for btc so guys drop your coin drop your coin i can see shiba so let's let's check shiba drop your coin drop your coin this ship okay let's check oh, what was the structure what was this saying what was it telling us let's clear the whole thing this is strong old for you if shiba ouch So looking at this, you can see that Shiba is cl has closed below this line. Okay. So I think that this, this is a downtrend. Is a downtrend already? One minute. Okay, my check. Okay, so for Shiba Inu, let's check for you. For Shiba Inu. So this is it. For Shiba Inu. Okay, so now you see this Shiba Inu, you have to be very smart. Let it get here. Okay. Okay, you can see that it has already so go short that's your entry this is your stop loss okay that's your stop loss this is your take profits that's if you're trading this okay if you're trading this that's how it should work Okay, hold on. I think this setup is not really clear. Check the one hour frame. Uh, well what i what i suggest is maybe you should just get another coin i think it's not really clear okay maybe with my own st strategy it's not really clear mm. but another another um as um escape route is to use btc to trade this to use btc to trade it this is rejecting Okay. The next one we have is um, SSV. What coin is that? I've never traded that before.
ओके गोइंग ऑन हियर check let's see oh is it <laughs> is it is it new con actually it was launched february 23rd i i usually don't like to trade new projects it has very limited data for you to decide limited data If you have to trade this, this has already broken out from this trend line. You see, there was a breakout and retest. Can you see that? So if you come to 15 minutes time frame, you will see it clearly. Can you see? So it broke out from here, retests, then down all the way. Okay. So now the next thing you need to do is either to wait, you put another line here. So if it breaks this line, then you can now do another pull back, break out and retest. Okay, but from here, it can give you something like this. Okay, a double bottom. Yep. So you are you're coming here. This you, this will be your entry to go long. So you have to wait, wait for breakout. Wait for breakout either to the upside. Or to the downside. So the next coin we have on our list is um, ING. I have to be very fast. INJ is operating at the particular region, which is this region. Okay. So, come and trade this breakout. Come and trade this breakout. So three point five to take the margin as a lot actually. So this is you see double top. Okay, this is the neckline. So breakout retests. So it breaks out here. We test this is your entry. Okay. And um, if you're not careful, it can bounce here before it now breaks out. Okay. So you have two options. So when, okay, I think it's going to bounce here. So because when, if Bitcoin pull back, by the time Bitcoin pulls back, It's going to bounce on this trend line and move back to the upside okay before it now breaks out so here you can go long have a very small stop loss so here you can go all the way all the way depending on what you want So you can see that. Okay. 
Okay. Go all the way like this, okay? So this is what I can see for you. So for ING, your entry is 3.5 as your entry. Then we have fill or US. I'll be very fast now. So for EOS, what do we have? What is the setup? You can do that. Let's remove this. Breakout, then pull back. Okay, let's check the lower time frame. Okay, so here in one hour time frame, I can spot something. Okay, so you can come and do the breakout. I don't think it will bounce. I don't think so. I think it will break out. Okay, so the supports will be 1.16. Okay, so you need to break 1.16 like this. Down, pull back, down. Okay, so that's what you're looking at. So this is your pull back. That's the pull back area. So you're going short around here. very good to monitor your trade so that you don't miss opportunities so here yeah you can take profit around here okay so keep monitoring your trade keep monitoring your trade this is it for us this is based on btc okay we will go on filecoin Is one of my favorite coin I trade regularly. Okay, I can see a double bottom. I can see a pullback. And the pullback has already entered below the neckline. So we just assume that is a downtrend. Okay. It has entered a downtrend as you can see. Has entered a downtrend, okay. So that's why you have this down, pull back, down, okay, pull back. So this, is like this, is just a downtrend, okay, just like this. You can use BTC to, to trade this. Your stop loss is very close 1.7. This is your stop loss, so monitor it clearly. Then we have STG. I've done. I've already done STG. Um, which other one again? MKR.
MKR. Okay, yeah, okay, I think I was monitoring this trade yesterday. So let's check. I think it's going to be a downtrend. Uh, Okay, let's confirm this downtrend. Okay, so we have you see downtrend pull back downtrend. But the only problem I'm seeing here is that it's happening very fast. Very is happening very very fast. So And then ignore this coin. The reason is because if you go short, there can be manipulation. And if you if you don't have good accounts, you will be liquidated. Okay. So that's it. That's my that's just my recommendation. So we have Ada. Let's check Ada. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so looking at this is very clear. Ada needs to break break this trend line, this support. If it if it, if it breaks that support, then we you have a trade. If, if it doesn't break the support, you have to keep holding on. Is that it breaks this um this is um, a descending triangle so you have two options but you have to wait you have to be very patient breaks here downtrend pull back okay or it, uh, it, it, it the candle comes here breaks here okay so you have those two options so let's go to the lower time frame from the lower time frame okay so you can see that looking at this this coin can hit the roof from here okay and it can also move down so you are in the middle of decision deciding either to go up or down but just wait for breakouts that's what i can see here even on the on our time frame wait for breakouts yeah even here is still telling you waiting wait for breakout so you already missed this this opportunity which which, which gives you triple top okay we have downtrend pull back downtrend pull back downtrend okay and now we are looking at another double bottom so you have to wait okay you have to wait to see the outcome trade the breakouts then the next one will be um, i've already done mkr okay so angela says how can you collect two different time frame and uh, you must subscribe okay when you subscribe i think my screen can do it and you can only do it on your desktop okay you can do it on your desktop just come to these three dots and you will see layouts okay you see layouts so with this layout you can have two different screens on two different and you have two different charts but it's it's only I think it it only allows them because I've subscribed, okay? Because I subscribe to um, Trading View, I'm able to divide my screen into two, as you can see. I never knew you were going to do this because I was even thinking the screen was going to be too small. That's why, but it works, as you can see. It works. So, you so you can change here. Let me see how to change. Yeah. See, do, we, do you see the way I'm selecting the screen? See, I select here. So whatever you select will determine what you use. So that's it. So let me remove from this draw screen. Layout. I'm using one. Oh, let me use this. Okay, okay. I, can, I think this is better, actually. This is better. This is better. Okay. Okay, that was good. So, 
let's go back to our single layer okay so can you see that next coin uh, okay i hope you understand that in the two time frames one hour and four yes you can see what i just did now you can change the um the time frame as you like i monitor, monitor it that's it angela nicholas good morning how are you good afternoon how are you doing my toolbox is blocked of coins uh, i don't i don't get that So you can see the way uh, BTC is struggling to, to the upside. Can you see that? So let's check um, the highway. Okay. Let's check LTC. For LTC, let's see. okay i can see something very good okay so let's go for this let's see if we can Wait for breakout. Aha. Uh -huh. This is not bad. I can see a triple top. And then it has already pulled back from the neckline. Let's see. Okay. LTC is looking good to the shot. Uh, yeah, for this LTC, I think it has an active trade as we speak. Can you see that? Okay. So let it break out from this trend line before you take decision. So that will be 96. Now can you see that? Yes. Yeah, because it can still bounce. Okay. It can bounce because of BTC. Remember? It can still bounce here back. Because I will have just told you to just wait for a breakout. Okay. So you have to monitor straight very well. Monitor the trade. A, let's check ANKR. Don't forget this segment is sponsored by Bybit. Okay, wow, this okay. I even have prediction on this NKR has been going down 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 all the way okay let's check okay <laughs> look at my prediction on this can you see it's still going down it's still coming down all the way to 0 0.03220 it's coming all the way down here But I think um, let's check here. Somewhere here, yes, somewhere here. It will pull back, but it's going down. It's going down, down, down all the way. 
So that I've already pre I predicted about fifteen percent of this coin. That was early. That was this this week. Can you see? See the prediction? Early this week, I predicted it already. And it's still going down. Even if it has to pull back, the pullback will be somewhere here. And so that's another entry. Okay? This is another entry. Around here. Back down. Okay? So that's it. Tether coin. Mathic. Okay, you said I should move my box down. Which of the box are you talking about? Which box? I'm trying to figure it out. So let's check Matic. Okay, this is Mathic. I think I have analysis on Mathic. Yeah, just wait for breakouts. Breakout and we test to the downside. You just trading like. Just like BTC. You mean you mean this two box? Okay, guys, my job is done for today. If you have any other, I think I've analyzed all the coins. So for Mathic, just trade Mathic alongside BTC. Okay, Basi Coffee, you said how to take profits in a sell position. I don't understand that. How to take profit? What does that mean? Or how to set your take profit? Is it with the exchange or on the trading view? Which or which one? Okay. So guys, don't forget we have three classes: beginner class, advanced class, and master class. Don't forget. Also forget that uh, we are always here on YouTube Tuesdays and Thursdays. And today we are having our beginner's class. Also, we also have and our beginner's class for March. We are starting afresh. We are starting a fresh class. So, guys, if you want to join us, you are welcome. And the master class will take place by 8 p.m. Nigerian time. 8 p.m. Nigerian time. That's it. Okay, so my job is done. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on telegram bye bye